Hey folks, good morning and hope everybody's doing good. Today um, I am going to bring something that I haven't found any reviews on and these are very new products, alright? And I'm very very happy and proudly going to do the exclusives, alright? I think maybe one person did but uh, not very impressed with that but I'm pretty sure not these ones, alright? So yesterday what happened was um, I was just walking around, I was just trying to find some, I think it was Van Cleef and Arpels Purum. I was looking for that but I couldn't find it, I found Sar. So sour was not my cup of tea, not in this heat, but it's a nice fragrance though, all right? But then I ended up seeing something else, all right? I'll show you in a bit, but let me show you the scent of the day. King Aventus, boom, boom, two sprays, half sprays, good to go, all right? It, this, is, this is just that good. And my, <laughs> because I was craving for it so much, I have made this my scent of the room. <laughs> so whole room smells like Aventus basically. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you these fragrances. It's called X Signature Gold Collection and I have two of them and I'm gonna do in the same video initial impression and then when I'll do the full review, I'll do individually and I'll talk about like longevity and then what else I got because these are really, really good, like sounds like very up class and then, you know, that sort of complex scent, all right? So first one I have is this one. This is called uh, Signature Gold. This is the name is Dark Vanilla and Oud Oud. All right, and yeah, I'll talk about it. Good stuff. The second one I have also. I got. They had only two, right? So I got this one. This is a Signature Gold. It's called Italian Bergamot and Amber Oud. Very very tempting names, right? And I'll talk about the bottles. All right, and I have the boxes here. All right, right here. I'll show the presentations. All right. So I have my strips here. I'm gonna spray on that because I'm wearing Aventus. I don't wanna mix it up right so <coughs> excuse me so before I start that review I want to tell you why I'm doing X fragrance reviews you guys have seen one of them before and I'm gonna tell you exactly why right so let me show you where it all started for me right it started off back in the school days right X was our holy grail we didn't know about fragrances that much only until university or college time which was like 2001 I mean like around 2000s right that's the time we rolled into the like mature world got into edts and stuff before that we used to go for body sprays so one of them was this i told you i'm going to do a full review and show the respect this is dark temptation x right this is still magic it works like a charm you know so it used to have this twisted not twisted twist mechanism right you twist it and you spray and hold and spray very very nice this one used to last right so this one i would say my first generation sort of fragrance i used to use the summer collection and whatnot so the next one this is a newer packaging, but this fragrance I used back in school. This is, I think, uh, anti-hangover. Back in the days, it used to be really, really nice, right? This one also has the mechanism. This is a newer bottle, so it goes up when you twist it, and you spray basically from here, right? So this is the second generation. So these are basically your, um, I think, how much? <coughs> Excuse me. 300 taka, so somewhere very, very cheap. Three, four dollars tops. Those uh, price ranges tops. So after that, there's a new line, you know, like recently which I was talking about is the signature. This this is suave and they have few, quite a few of these line. I don't know where my packaging is, but I did the review of this. So this one up top smells like Fahrenheit, which I really love. And this one actually works like an EDT and which it is, I think, yeah, body perfume. I don't know, it's, 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 it's a concentrated gas-free aromatic. So it's sort of like a EDT, even though it's can, right? So that's sort of like a step up for X. So the last one is this line, the gold line. This one I've been watching for some time, TV ads, and these are all made in India, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure where the other one's made. Uh, I don't know. These are so much information here. It's made in Unilever. I don't know where they made this. I always thought they're from India. Ah, uh, never mind. All right. So these, the new ones are from India, basically. And I always wondered, you know, because the bottle looks so posh and the X is like sentimental value to us. Many of the kids would be like, mm, X, no. But we have, many of you guys have sentimental values towards this, right? So I decided to give it a go and I saw them. These are just brand new in the market. They're just importing it from India. And uh, hold on, excuse me, I'll be back. Uh, sorry about the interruption. The baby just knocked on my door. You know, my little niece is here. She's about gonna be two. So she always knocks. <laughs> I told her like I'll be back very soon right so I'll try to finish this quickly so uh, as I was saying so this X holds sentimental value to a lot of people right and uh, you have to see where they have come until that's why I want to show them the transition all right this is gonna be initial impression but I'll show you from this one 
the story to this one all right so let's look into this all right so first of all the price range the price range on this gold line is a bit higher up like than the usual x the usual x you can get it pretty much 200 taka to 300 something the middle range you get it for 400 taka all right so these new ones i don't know how much they are going for soon but they charge me like 800 taka each so the price return was 890 something like that yeah but they gave me for 880 the price was written 880 right so they gave me for 800 because i took two so the first one i want to talk about is italian bergamot let's go with that so the packaging with this is this very very beautiful if you feel this if you touch it you'll know this is really really nice presentation black and then the blue very eye-catching kind of stickers and glossiness here this is actually not a sticker right it's it's like printed on it all right then the x signature go at the side <coughs> excuse me and it's edt and atml this wants to be noticed it's noted it's atml bottle all right so they have the ingredients and blah blah and it's made in india all right so basically down you get your batch code manufacturing date so they say use it like a uh, in India, sorry. Oh, okay. Some more information. So the production date is uh, 08, 2016. So I guess uh, somewhere towards the end of the 2016. So I have two good years to finish this. All right. And it's rupees 415 India, right? All right. And the site, it gives you some idea of the bottle picture. Basically the same packaging, but different names and different color. All right. And X up top. Very, very premium feel to this. <coughs> Excuse me. This cold. Even after coffee, it's killing me. So this bottle this bottle it's seriously like it's not a can this is listen for this this is class that's why this is premium all right and then the it's very nice to hold it feels very good like armani code that sort of bottle and you can hold it like this i love the feel of this very cold because of my room it's air conditioned and stuff so it's a signature same information as that so italian bergamot and amber wood right edt very beautiful i'm telling you you can i think see through this it's blue colored, all right? When I put it against the light, it's dark blue. The bottle, all right? The cap comes off like this. It's a plastic, but very solid plastic, all right? Here. A top, nothing much. There's no logo. And then the sprayer here. The sprayers on this are, <coughs> excuse me, not bad at all. These, I'll show you the sprayer, all right? Here we go. Let's see the sprayer. Can you see? It sprays like a perfume. Very nice mist and very soft. Wow, okay, so sprayer and everything really works for this price range. I don't think you can get a better bargain below your code and everything, all right? So for the bottle presentation for this, both of them, I really love them. I'll give them 10 out of 10. For the price range, what you pay, this is premium feel. You're not gonna get that from many brands. So, okay, what do I get, all right? These strips actually like courtesy to one of my uh, bros from the community. He is like kind enough to do this for me. I have a whole bunch so yeah yes yes this is this is this is good stuff this actually um the name itself the italian bergamot and amber wood kind of a bit confusing all right that's the first thing that i notice because i don't get any bergamot <coughs> whatever that is you know the italian spanish whatever bergamot there's no bergamot in this so the name this took the fancy name all right and for some reason i feel this line is trying to copy tom ford line the private blend because the theme is dark the name and everything wood amber so what i really get is yeah a little bit citrus up top but not italian bergamot it's like very much in the backstage initial impression definitely right so i don't know i'm not quite sure but that's what my nose gets i got them from like last like 24 hours right so this one has the touch of citrus up top but not so much prominent so you if you're looking for a citrus based scent this is not a citrus citrusy scent right this is dominant by one uh, note that is i think is coconut right i get lots of coconuts and if you like uh, zara's uh, collection tobacco collection which is the rich warm addictive that has the coconut amped up something like this but a bit lighter than that all right very very beautiful scent very beautiful and this one would be more preferred i think maybe by ladies could be unisex very sweet definitely gourmand type of feel evening wear dark Men definitely can wear this, like 50-50, it's built for men, but yep, very, very uh, sweet and then gourmandish feel and very warm. Don't wear this in the heat, that's what I feel. This is cold weather scent, both of them. 
and the longevity so far for this it's uh, it's around i'm getting two to three hours max on the skin um, the winter i think to perform better all right so for initial impression really like it all right the background somewhere the citrus is lying somewhere there but i would love the citrus coming in forefront and play that role all right so there you go the first one the second one um it's um it's my favorite out of the two and i don't know about the other two there are other two there are four in the collection so this one is dark vanilla oud oud and definitely you think of tom ford first thing that will come into your mind is tom ford right so you can see the box red <clears throat> yellow sort of like golden combination with black goes very well same thing here the date is uh, 450 rupees, same time, production time. I think they came all in the same time. The box, everything same. And then the mechanism also on the same on this. I'm not gonna show you, all right? Okay, so let me try the fragrance, all right? <clears throat> this one is, seriously, I'm telling you one thing, initial impression, I'm in love with this. All right, see the sprayer? Damn. <laughs> Clicks in place by the way, you can pick it up. Very nice snug fit. Oh guys, guys, guys. This is the this is the real deal. The other one is alright. It might not be your cup of tea, it's like love it or hate it, but this stuff, if you see it somewhere, give it a try. Beautiful, aromatic, uh, sweet leather, wood, vanilla. All comes together. And this is not I think this bottle, what they're trying to do is trying to cover Tom Ford's few fragrances in one bottle Udud, tobacco veni tuscan leather feel of it the fruitiness all right very slight hint of uh, leather somewhere on the dry down all right i've been wearing this since yesterday the only problem with this is it doesn't last that long like the other one lasts two three hours right i told you two two three hours to four hours stops not four hours three this lasts only one to two hours stops but i think that's because of the heat if i wear this inside my air conditioning room like air conditioning room it lasts much better all right this is seriously sweet beautiful stuff i'm telling you this fragrance i'm gonna be treasuring this as much as i treasure my other bentley some of those colder weather season scents there's nothing heavy about it if you think of oud oud right you'll be thinking heavy shit and this is also blue sort of bottle but the best thing about this, this is not choking or clawing very soft but very very noticeable people come near you they will be wondering what you're wearing if you tell them you're wearing something from dior or ysl easily this is premium stuff guys all right so initial impression i love this stuff right up also for winter season and uh, i think ladies would love this on you ladies would love to wear this on themselves because very dark mysterious sort of like <clears throat> black orchid garmondish you know sweet vanilla is there so mix of all those good things there's nothing uh, no notes i think you hate about this like chocolate or something dominant coffee there's none of that very soft wood sweetness mixed with vanilla Utsi element not so much but the softer sweet wood you know and definitely citrus up top so the mix of all the good stuff this 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 stuff is worth buying so my recommendation will be this i'll be testing this further if i can pull this off in the colder nights but whatever but this is seriously good stuff guys so guys look into the signature gold line of x this is not child's play anymore this is premium stuff and how much you have to lose 800 taka is somewhere more or less eight dollars come on guys you can, you can you can you can give it a try even if you don't want to buy give it a try if you find this i've been looking for this for a very long time man oh man damn these are good stuff i love this and overall mark for this Packaging is 10 out of 10. For this one, smell-wise, coconut is not definitely one of my favorite notes, but I will wear this more. For initial impression, I give this 7 out of 10. This one, I'll give this 9.5 out of 10. That good, the smell. Forget about the performance, maybe a bit weak, go some on your shirts or something, but definitely nightwear, colder weather wear. All right, and if you like Tom Ford line, the dark, mysterious, sort of like black orchid line, oud oud, tobacco veni, you're gonna love this. This is one of the best and the most premium sort of oud from this price range no forget about the price range this is one of the finest ouds i smelled very very soft and beautiful all right give it a try see if it works for you all right dark vanilla and oud oud from signature gold collection of x 
So thank you guys for watching. And I'm sorry it went all the way to 15 minutes, but there are two fragrances I have to talk about, right? So <clears throat> wait for my ex duck temptation. I want to do a full review on this. Take care, guys. Have a very nice day. We have a meeting for Good Smellers Bangladesh today, 3.30. All right. So it's called KB Square Building. If you are up for it, you can come down and join us. Just uh, see the page, Good Smellers Bangladesh. I posted the venue there. All right. So it's called Hot Chef, by the way. Take care. Have a nice day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.